This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I am Pastor Marianne Kellenbach, pastor at Living Faith Church, which is located in the city of Port St. Lucie in the state of Florida in this gorgeous, gorgeous community called Tradition, which is a master plan community just west of I-95 off of exit 118 in case you're looking for us. And we are under the gazebo here by the main lake on this Monday morning. Uh, September the 12th in the year 2022. It is hard to believe that we're almost halfway through September already. But we have a nice, cooler morning this morning. I should say low humidity. Um, it is our Faith and Fitness um, morning, and our Faith and Fitness is coming to us, the faith part, from Jesus Always, Sarah Young. So I invite you to close your eyes now and to listen to these words. I want you to imagine that this is Jesus talking to you. I am the one who keeps your lamp burning. I turn your darkness into light. Sometimes when you are weary and burdened, you may feel as if your lamp is about to go out. It seems to be flickering and sputtering on the verge of running out of fuel. Whenever this happens, call out to me for help. Take some deep breaths in my presence and remember that I am the one who fuels your lamp. I am your strength. I am also your light. Keep turning toward me, letting the glory of my presence soak into you. My radiant beauty brightens your life and changes your perspective. When you turn away from me and forget that I am with you, your world looks very dark. Indeed, there is much darkness in this deeply fallen world you inhabit. However, I am the light that shines on in the darkness. So do not be afraid, my child. Trust me wholeheartedly. No matter how gloomy things may appear, I will transform your darkness into light. In the morning, when I get up, I'm sure as many of you, when you wake up in the morning, it's still dark outside these days. I think the sun is rising about 7, 7.05 in the morning now. And I get up and I like to spend 15 to 30 minutes in prayer and meditation. So I sit out on my back little porch lanai and I have these tiki torches out there. They are solar tiki torches. Thank you very much. Mrs. Sharon and Mr. Stephen Corcoran for that gift. And what happens is I go out there and they're still lit. They're still flickering. But I notice that the flickering is now, you know, early in the morning beginning to diminish. And you just see little flickering, but it's still flickering. And I notice that the point in which these tiki torches go out is when the sun is up. See, the sun is what gives these torches their ability, because they are solar, to stay energized. And just at the point, I'm thinking to myself as I meditate on this, just at the point when they're ready to go out, the sun comes up to give them the energy. But then what I realized is that they know that the darkness is over and the sun is present. So now they can bask in the sun to get energized again. And it really has nothing to do with um, the rising of the sun, but more the understanding, the mechanism, which for me is now, it's the mechanism of recognizing the darkness is over, the sun is here, let me bask and get my energy in the sun. See, before I actually thought that it was that it was losing its power, but then I recognized, no, it realizes I've made it through the darkness, the sun is present. Let me now bask in that light so that I can continue to stay energized, ready, ready for the time in which the darkness comes back because yeah, the darkness does come back. So take the lesson from that solar powered 
light you might have. You might have some in your house that go on. You have these little night lights, night lights that go on. And think of the night light and think of how that light gets its energy either from the electricity or more importantly from the light, from the sun, S-U-N, from the sun for us, S-O-N. Let us pray. Good and gracious Lord on this new Monday as your birds sing and we hear all of your children and nature going about doing what we and they do. Let us bask in the light of your son, Jesus Christ. Remind us that your son is the one who gives us the energy, who refills our spirits, our souls, our energy, our ability to shine and be lit when the darkness comes. Help us to recognize the times in which the sun is present that we can see and those times in which we know the sun remains in us in those times of darkness because we know that the light will never be extinguished by the darkness but the darkness will be extinguished by the light. Let us now pray those words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. All right, well, now that you have been filled uh, with the strength and the power of our Lord, head out for your war. walk as best as you are able to move, however you're able to move today, go and do that. Blessings, I'll see you tomorrow.